particular color adjustments to localized areas of a color range. <clears throat> now I'm going to try and desaturate this half roughly of the image of the color wheel using the hue correct. Now as I drag my mouse round I get a little preview in the window in the hue correct window of where that range is and you can see it's here and some here. So if I select that, press L for linear interpolation, in other words uh, it's the difference between that and that, between that and that. Okay, it's a nice hard edged interpolation. Let's add another point in there by command option clicking again linear, select that one L linear. So there we have it, a very hard edged desaturation just localized to color and nothing else. Okay, would have been very difficult using any other means. Although I confess, I don't know why I would ever want to do that. But it does offer some very powerful functionality. I'm going to, for example, reduce the green channel there or darken the green channel essentially. Now that's not the same as removing green. I'm going to show you something. You correct. And we're going to do a shove our viewer over there and green suppress now. And you'll see the difference. One it's darkening the green channel. We have some artifacts there, it's some odd color artifacts. And two, it's just removed some of the green. Okay, it's, it's darkened it as well. Now, that's particularly useful. That's particularly useful for, say, if you've matted out a, a figure against a green screen and you've got some uh, ugly green uh, um, spill on the side of the very edge of the figure, which is quite likely, uh, then you either uh, remove it in the matting operation or in a separate operation using a tool like Hue Correct. So Hue Correct, a very powerful tool for localized color adjustment.